Hey Leos, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're gonna be doing your three month ahead preview spread here. So your meditation, I saw the image of a diamond, okay? And very clear, you know, the three C's, you know, cut, clarity, care, perfect diamond. But then I saw it being buried in the sand in order to preserve it or conceal it or protect it in some way. And then I saw you taking it out of the sand sometime later, but it being more of a, I think it's like a geode or something, or just looked very different than it did before, seemingly less perfect. But then you came to find that in its, in its you know, new form, it had, it, was, it had more longevity in some way, shape, or form. I'm getting a message for you guys that is, you know, nodding to or acknowledging um, where you've been that gets you to where you are right now. I feel like they're specifically talking about your perseverance and kind of some knocks that you've taken over the past year in terms of things looking different than, I mean, I think this makes sense, right, with the collective experience, but specifically for you, Leo, like how things went differently than you would have thought. They look differently. I'm hearing like your last birthday season, maybe for some of you, it did look different than you would have thought. It felt different. It was a different experience. You guys are very social creatures. And so I'm hearing for you that even though uh, things, especially around this three month period, I, I feel like the point is that you're going to be experiencing a newfound joy in the way that things are that may surprise you in some very marked ways. So let's go ahead and we're gonna get some uh, animal energy and tarot for overall and then some advice for you as well. So what's the animal? Oh, I love it. Animal energy for you for the next three months is the horse skull, which I love to see. This is so beautiful and it makes a lot of sense. So the horse, this equates with chariot-like energy, which is fast forward movement that is balanced and whole and purposeful, right? We could even say, you know, navigate with purpose type deal. You know, also horse medicine is about allowing yourself to go with the flow. And that the best way to pop yourself out of alignment is to not do that, is to either rush or stall or, you know, uh, kind of restrict yourself from a place of, oh, I want things to be a certain way. It's that rigidity of thinking or action, right? But this is about going with the flow and yielding the benefits of doing so. It's about the path of least resistance and understanding that what is not in your control is none of your business. And the best that you can do is step into a place of acceptance around that and, and know a lot of peace as a result of doing so. But this is forward movement. This also speaks of a beautiful relationship with your inner spirit, with the universe, feels like you are in the flow and it feels really, really beautiful. Also, horses represent freedom as well, not restricting yourself, right? Being open to the limitless, you know, potentials at your disposal, even though they may look differently than you would have thought. Oh my God, I'm so here for it. So we have the two of wands here. Look at this wonderful California imagery here. I think this is, is Marina Del Rey? I never remember, but anyway. So two of wands, this is so beautiful. So the two of wands rule the actions that we take and then we have the chariot here. It's a lot about action over the next three months. The two of wands in particular is about planning, dotting your I's, crossing your T's, knowing exactly where you want to go and how you're gonna go there before you graduate to the three of wands and take action around it. So I'm hearing to really appreciate the time that you're in over this next three months and know, no, 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 that you will get to where you're going. It's just about, can you take the time and form the perspective to, you know, use the time at your disposal to the best of your abilities without wishing things were different or propelling yourself too forward into the future or the past? Can you, from the present moment, not only enjoy where you are, but if you, if someone were to pop down and say, hey, you are definitely going to catapult forward in a few months' time, things are going to speed up in such a big way, how would you act accordingly right now. You probably wouldn't be wishing yourself into the future and going, oh, well, I want to be here. You'd be like, oh my God, three months. Okay. Let me just like <laughs> take the, the last bit of this time and really use it to the best of my abilities, whatever that looks like. Okay. But I feel like a lot of this has to do with per point of perspective as well, how you use your time right? And what freedom looks like to you and what it means to you as well. And which way, in what areas of your life are you restricted or restricting yourself? And which ways can you introduce a greater sense and feeling of freedom? Crow is your advice, y'all. Hello and goodbye for the next few months. You know, crows are very much, this equates to the high priestess energy, which is about clicking in with your intuition to access information that is, you know, veiled or within your subconscious mind, right? 
So this is beautiful. The chrome magic, chrome medicine is also about repeating numbers, signs, and symbols, messages, communication, speaking up with something is unjust or imbalanced. And this is also about a sign from the universe, a series of signs from the universe that you are on the verge of manifesting something that you have been wanting for quite some time time. This is lining up perfectly with what I'm seeing over here with the horse and the two of wands. If you knew for sure that in three months that things were going to speed up a lot for you, how would you use this time? If you knew that what you have been working on manifesting is going to come to its head, would you stay ready so you ain't got to get ready? Because that's what this feels like to me. Staying ready so you ain't got to get ready. I'm also getting a special note. Um, there's someone who whose intuition is growing in, in like leaps and bounds right now as well. I feel that rather keenly. Ooh, this is coming out quick today. <laughs> oh my God, this is so perfect, Leo. And you got two for one. I'm so here for it. So first of all, how do we go? Okay, let's do eight of swords. So eight of swords. So this, I'm really obsessed with this because we have the blind mole here who can't rely on its vision to see and relies on its inner senses as well, which is another take on the high priestess, right? This is analysis paralysis, right? But I feel like for you guys, remember how we were talking about, think about in which ways you are restricting yourself or your given circumstances are restrictive and find ways to introduce more freedom into your life and experience. And then we have this restriction here. I feel like that's a direct comment on that. And really being mindful and being honest with yourself and you know what that looks like and proposing change around that right then we have knight of pentacles which is slow and calculated action that yields long-term benefits and results but i like that this is a slow movement right what are we just talking about about dotting your eyes crossing your t's taking mindful action and understanding that even though things may look a little different than you would prefer at the moment in some way shape or form especially around the timing of something right I'm hearing or social something to do with that that you know that things are going to move forward here you know before too long and and do you want to stay ready so you ain't got, got to get ready and in which ways can you free yourself from any sort of impatience or dissatisfaction it really has a lot to do with where your perspective lies can you shift your point of focus and see things differently you're also going to have a lot of support a lot of guidance and a lot of signs and symbols from the universe over the course of the next three months which is also amazing right i'm also keep feeling california i feel like there's a deeper message in that i associate california with a and it's a trope for a reason where because i'm in the new york area and over here everything's like you know tell it like it is and move it at a fast pace and cali has this sort of um reputation for going at a slower pace and being more laid back and it feels like you know in a way that is your advice as well to just kind of like relax a little bit take mindful and purposeful you know preparedness steps but enjoy a little bit more freedom during this time okay hyacinth oh i love it oh i love it it's so perfect hyacinth playfulness play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance i am so here for this play freedom horse energy i'm so here for this i feel like this is such beautiful advice for you guys again about just enjoying where you are even though it may look differently than you know you might have wanted it to play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance i am so hearing this and maybe the freedom that we're looking to introduce into your reality is linked to play or the children in your life. And that could be a special, you know, nod to anyone who has children or nieces or nephews or even neighborhood children or whatever this is for you. Or even connecting with your inner child feels very much like the tonic for right now. Because children have an amazing way of coming from the present moment without concerning themselves over the future or the past. And that is a very special message for you, Leo. Brilliant. All right. This is your three month ahead preview spread. I'm sending you all many blessings. Thank you guys so much for being here and for watching. And most of all, and as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for being you and be well until next time.